Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. Please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations and they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers. So if you have any video requests or any questions, don't hesitate, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to make a video for you, you don't have to subscribe. Or actually, now I think you should consider subscribing because if you don't, you lose. And why is that? Because normally I share like small customizations on each video, but right now it's a new chapter, completely different chapter, which is I will be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable ones that you can actually make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or pay for those monthly subscription applications, which is not a good idea for long-term projects. Or actually, instead of me talking, just scroll down, check out the channel and let me know what you think. But in this video, I will show you how to add the glow effect on your logo, on your Shopify store. And I mean the exact design of logo. As you can see on the screen right now, my logo is transparent, only the name for it. And the effect will not apply to the whole borders or the, co uh, the container of the picture. It will actually make the elements inside the transparent picture uh, with a glow effect once you hover over them. And without any more talking, let's just get to it. As you can see, by the way, this is down team, which is normally I start with a completely fresh team, nothing on it. Then I start adding new things each video. By video 70 or 80, the team will be completely different. But now it's a different story because I will be sharing sections, completely different sections and highly customizable. So I think I will reach that level by the video 30 or 40. For example, you see this uh, reviews carousel right here. As you can see, this is a reviews carousel that would show reviews from multiple sources, Google, Facebook, Amazon, Etsy, all in one place. And it's filterable, you can click on Google, it will only show you the reviews from Google. If I click on Facebook, it will only show me the reviews of Facebook and, it, and so on for Amazon and Etsy. And this one is very highly customizable, there is over 50 options that you can customize on this. Even that like, small icon, the verified icon, you can customize the color for it as well. So you can make this very unique. Check out the video and you will see. And by the way, you see these pop-ups once you want to close the page or leave the website, then they show up suddenly. How do they do that? No worries. You can do that right now on Shopify without using a monthly subscription app. We can do that by using our own custom code, which is a shared on my channel. Let me show you. For example, this is their mouse cursor, right? If I scroll up, want to close the page. Oops, where are you going? Come back here. There's a frost sale. <laughs> There's a... A, a copy button for discount, there is this counter, countdown timer, sorry, and many, many, many options. This one is highly customizable as well. And just check out the channel and see for yourself. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So once I hover over the, the, the logo, it will show a glow effect around the name for the logo, this one. So let's just do that. The first thing you're going to do is obviously access Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. And in here, we need to find the file in says assets folder. Instead of using the, this one, simply click on the search bar at the top left corner. And again, it's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css or custom.css but most of the teams now use base.css simply click on type in base sorry and you will see base.css as you can see and after that bunch of css code will show up scroll all the way down let me drag this because it's huge file here we go now we need to create some space in here to paste in our code and to do that simply click front of the last line in here in my case is closing bracket then hit enter on your keyboard here we go, we have a completely new line to paste in our code. And where are you gonna get that code? As always, on the description box. Scroll down the description box and you will see a link from my website, click on it. Then it will take you to this beautiful website right here. This one right here, scroll a little bit down and you will see this very short code that will do the trick. Simply click on this icon at the right corner, click on it, get back in here and paste it in this space that we did create. After that, click on the save button after a couple of seconds, it's saved. We will get back in here, reload the page and see the magic happens. Here we go. See, so if I hover over it, let me zoom in on it. Oh, what do you want again? Go away. <laughs> okay, if I, as you can see, it shows a glow effect with the blue color. And yeah, I know you want to change the blue color. Very easy. You see this code in here? This is an RGB color. As you can see, this one. This is an RGB color. Simply head to google.com, type in hex, color, sorry, color picker, just like you see, and pick the color you want, for example, this one, the green one, 
and copy this call. Copy this call and replace it in both instances, which is here, then down here. And that will change the color from blue to green and should give you green in here. And that's how you add the glow effect on your logo on your Shopify store by using your own code. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.